pressing in the, in the final third. So we're going to work on pressing in the attacking third. So goalkeepers in the goal, normal game, but these two orange players, they're called the sweepers. You can't tackle the sweeper on your team. So you're going to play for the greens, Lewis. You're going to play for the blues, Kyle. Okay? The sweepers have got how many touch, should we say? Three. So they've got three touch and you know they're going to play it in. Blues and greens are going to be matched up together, though, against each other. The oranges can only stay in their defensive third. See the yellow markers? Yep. That's the third of the pitch, middle third, end third. So if Carl's down that end, where can he only stay? In that, in that third, Lewis can only stay in there. In here, we're going to be matched up one against one, though. So you can only tackle your player in here. All right? So go and find yourself a partner, quickly. Greens v Blues. Keepers in the goal. Oranges either end. Play. Off we go. Now, stop there. Just go back into Lewis for me. Lewis has got how many touch? So when he has one touch, then he has two touch. Stay there. We can't tackle him, so he might have to drop off and defend what? Defend the area, let him have it in there. But when he has his third touch, we know he's going to play in. So what can we look to start to do as Blues now? We can look to, yeah, we can look to maybe get on the shoulder in here and get ready to threaten these ones in there. Addy getting ready to threaten in there. Now, as it came into Ed, played into Ed, Played into Ed, and Ed had his touch backwards in there. Good, stay there. So Simsy's gone in here. What can we do now? That's one of the cute... Hey, good man. We can squeeze up, and the Blues can start getting in front. Coming in front. Remember, we got a spare man behind us there. Good, so we're looking to press. Because he's facing what way? Backwards. backwards. Then we can look to squeeze in and press. Ready, Ed? I'm going to play you. And then we can go in and get tight, and we'll see what happens. Play. Off we go. Now, stop there. What does Simsy have to do, though? He can't let Ed do what? Can't let him turn. He's got him forced backwards. Keep him going that way. Over the small side of the game, we've sort of wrapped it up all together and then worked on pressing in the final third. So we couldn't get pressure on the ball, let them have it in that third and drop right off. But then when we could get pressure, then we squeezed in as a team and we're looking at the cues and the triggers of, say, a bad touch, sideways pass. If it was a sloppy pass, then we could go in and really get tight and work together as a team and stop them from playing forward or hopefully sideways and then maybe winning the ball. What I want to do is take these two players out now. One go blue, one go green. Normal game, still doing the same principles. So if the ball goes out though, it goes from the keeper, looking at those cues and triggers of when to press, when not to press. Ball's out from the keeper, start from the keeper. Think about our line, Blues. Think about our line. Hilsey, where do you need to start from? A bit further back. We're going to drop off a couple of yards in front of that halfway line if there's no pressure. Now let's have a look at it. Oh, Hilsey, good. Play on. Blues, Blues, well played. Dropped off, defend the line. Then we got in and got tight. The thing is with you can't press all the time. If you did, you'd have a very tired team and you'd never win the ball back, especially teams who are good technically. So we need to make sure that we're doing it at the right times, pressing at the right times. Mm -hmm.